Well, for many of us, Facebook is a way to share what's going on in your life, but often it's a place where people go to vent their politics. It's important to think before you post because you never know who's going to read what you have to say. One local woman learned the hard way. She found combining social media and politics can go terribly wrong. News 8's Jackie Slater, live in News 8 Control tonight with that. Jackie. Ritu Goel was seeking a seat on the South Windsor Town Council. With just about a month until the election, she's off the ticket and facing major backlash after a Facebook post about the shooting in Las Vegas. Ritu Goel, once a Democratic candidate for town council in South Windsor, withdrawing from the race after her reaction to the Las Vegas shooting draws major criticism from residents and town leaders. Just hours after 58 people were killed on the Las Vegas Strip, Goel posted this message to her Facebook page. Prayers for Las Vegas. People in favor of guns should have been on that strip. Mayor Carolyn Merrick saying people have been calling her in town hall ever since. People will come to know, if they don't already, that South Windsor is a very diverse and inclusive community. And um, any divisive or hateful words that are spewed are not welcome here. By Tuesday evening, the controversy here in town was growing. Goel came here to South Windsor Police and filed a report saying she was the one who was being threatened and harassed. Goel went to the station along with members of the Democratic Town Committee saying responses to her post made her fear for the safety of her family. Deputy Chief Scott Custer says the post did not break any laws. Her officers did meet with her, spent extensive time with her, just talking about some basic safety precautions, and we did uh, alert the schools just to make sure that there were no uh, problems or friction between her children and other children, uh, and we've conducted patrols of her neighborhood. Just While town Republicans are speaking out against Goel's post, Democratic Town Committee Chairman Tony Duarte released a statement that reads in part, Tragedy sometimes affects people differently, and they see and say things out of anger and frustration and do not always express themselves appropriately, and because of this, a local candidate for 2017 municipal election has been victimized and has received hateful messages threatening her and her family. There is no room in our society for this type of behavior. We tell our children to be very careful because once it gets out there, it's there forever. And it's just um, something that, you know, a hard lesson that some people learn. We did try to reach Goel for comment on this story, but her Facebook page does not allow messaging, and a phone number listed in her name no longer works. Live in News 8 Control, Jackie Slater, News 8. Thanks.